Hey guys, welcome to my basic static analysis tutorial. And today I'll be going through how to analyze malware without actually running them. And I've got some malware right here. And before I go into this tutorial, and for the next tutorial, the basic dynamic tutorial, I'd like to tell you that the these viruses the right here which I'm gonna be used to, I'm gonna use for like test today they're from a book called practical more analysis which is actually a really great book and that's where I've learned most of my techniques uh, that and some other books that I'll go through in the in the next like in maybe the next or the uh, or one of my future videos at least and uh, right so if you like more analysis and that's a great book and okay so let's get started I'm I'm gonna try to go through this real quick because there's a lot of stuff I have to cover so the tools you'll need PEID command line and um, the strings the strings the DXE tool which is a command line tool the dependency walker you'll need resource hacker as well PE view and that's about all the tools you should need for basic static analysis technique keep in mind that this is basic and you want you just get there like a general idea of what the mover does and that's about it or if it's packed and stuff like that so first thing I like to do is open up PEID drag and drop the executable and you can see what it's what was used to compile it we can see Microsoft Visual C++ and sometimes if it's packed like with let's say for example UPX it's gonna say here UPX and then it's up to you to unpack it so that being said that's what I use PID for the next tool is the strings tool which is a command line tool which in, or, uh, you, in order to use it just drag and drop this here and space then drag and drop the malware this is the CIH malware by the way and press enter and you can see the strings of the malware here and you know some pretty inf pretty uh, useful information here or not so useful depends on the strings alright so that's before I get into more detail about this you know uh, you won't like to set this up oops Oh my god, this computer is trolling me today. It's so slow. I hate when it does that. Alright. So in order to have this set up in order to like... The strings. In order to use it like this, where you just type the name in the command prompt and... In order to have thing to, in having to drag, it and drag and drop the actual file. And in order to do this, you go to... Right, you will right click my computer properties. You go to advanced s environment variables, and under system variables, you can see this path thing. Double click it, and go to the end. Make sure there's a semicolon if there isn't, add one, and then just add the path to the executable, but not actually the executable. For so, for example. Um, See th th this thing right here. Don't add like a slash strings to the XC. So right, let's get into us using the the tool. Let's say I'm gonna I'm going to analyze this one right here. Damn, this computer is low today. You press enter and you can usually find useful information su such as file paths to file secrets or like IPs it uses it to connect. You can see here C Windows System 32 kernel 132.dll and the same path kernel 32.dll. So this is a, a very nice example of what to pay attention when analyzing malware, which is like they try to trick like the analyzer and this makes you think that it's the actual kernel file but in fact it's another kernel file named kernel132.dnl 
and right if I'm going too fast and you don't really understand anything then then just leave a comment and I'll make sure I reply if you see that there aren't any useful strings and this these aren't really useful and I'll show you later in a depends exe how to see these kinds of strings I guess the ones I'm talking about are the close handle you know find next file and stuff like that this I'm gonna show you how, how to find them later and alright so this is where you can find useful file paths and IPs and stuff like that and why is the computer so slow oh my god right anyway let's get to oh my god this is not workable computer wait a second Maybe it's Skype. Yep, it is in fact Skype. So hopefully this is gonna speed it up. Alright, so let's get back to it. It's not speeding it up, but alright. Don't know what it is. Let's just continue. I just have to deal with this. Alright, so I'll actually head open quick. Open okay, let's go to dependency, which is the next tool I like to use. Let's drag and drop the executable, and this DLLs here are the ones of interest to you. The these ones, like the, the subsection ones, you don't bother with them because they contain all the possible imports and there's it's not a, like a hundred percent guarantee that they're using these imports so never mind them just use the top ones right here and the useful imports I can see right now is copy file A, create file A, create file mapping A first find first file A, find next file A which goes through files and this tells you that it does create and modify files the file system so um, if you don't know what any function does just go to google and write msdn and then the function name and it's gonna open up and it's gonna find you the microsoft page of the function and the detail, of the detail like description of what in the function does so this is a way to guess what the malware does in an actual malware though, if this is like if this is like the only thing you see, then it's a there's a high possibility that the malware is packed or it like downloads another file from the internet and then continues its um, injection from there. So that's the dependency walker. I'll leave the links to these programs by the way in the description. Let's move on to PE view. Let's uh, look at let's look at CIH for now. You go to image and headers, image file header. By the way, if you don't know anything about headers, then this the information I'm gonna tell you now is really basic, so you can you can use P view as well. So you go to image file header under image and headers, and you go to time date stamp. You can see one nine uh, one thousand one hundred and ninety five zero six. 30 Friday and blah 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 which is a time the malware was compiled if you see like set um, a year that doesn't make sense like 1337 
then you know it's obviously been modified by malware uh, make creators so malware analysts will not be able to actually well analyze uh, nowhere near those compiled and stuff like that and the other section of interest is section dot data I mean, it might be our data or i data whatever if it contains data then the, and there is like a plus sign next to it that's your section uh, that's the section you are looking for and what you are looking for is actually an export table if the, if it has an export table in capital letters like import then it probably provides functionality to if it's like a dll like let's say this this uh, uh, this malware comes with this dll then probably this dll provides additional functionality to the malware so and that functions you'll be able to see from the export table so that's how you use this program and the last program which is rarely gonna be of use in my experience but if it actually comes to use then it, you get a really good amount of information so there's really nothing to see from this but let's say CIH which disgu disguised itself as a calculator we can see it has a graphical u user interface you can see uh, you can see it right here scientific standard etc what's that? statistics box alright so yeah and you can see useful information from here if it has a like graphical user interface stuff like that so yeah that's about it with the four basic static analysis if you want more examples of this I go through through some malware in my other videos with basic static analysis techniques so you, you might want to check that out you don't really understand how I use any of this and if you still don't understand then go ahead and leave a comment and I'll make sure I reply and before I go where is it here it is the book I was talking about I should have like a review book a um, video of this book in like probably the next few weeks which is I mean this is a really great book I mean I'm not trying to advertise it or anything. I also go through some other books I found really useful. And right, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.